Hey, you guys still there? Team Positivity, check them out. Hey, what's going on, gang? Hey, so if you've been watching the vlogs for a while, you may recognize this symbol right there. And uh, whether I'm wearing it on my hat or on this snazzy sweatshirt or even the sticker on my Jeep. So this logo, this brand, hashtag positivity, it's based around an awesome organization created by my good friend, Jason. And uh, recently, Hold on one second. So recently, Jason, hashtag positivity, sent Dan Mace, you know, the guy from 368, that awesome filmmaker that works with Casey Neistat, that guy. But anyway, Jason had sent Dan some of his hashtag positivity swag. And in Dan's most recent video, We're Not Friends, I'll put a link up here, you guys really need to check it out. Dan was wearing this hashtag positivity t-shirt. Which is awesome because as of this morning, that video had almost 700,000 views. That is phenomenal. 700,000 people have seen hashtag positivity. And well, you know, we should actually head to Jason's now so you can hear from the man himself who created the positivity movement. You guys ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Hey, you seen Dan's new video yet? How awesome is that? Dude, that is sweet, huh? I was pumped about that. That's so cool. So cool. Awesome video, better shirt. Speaking of shirts, you got any more of those? Yeah, come on in. All right, guys, here we are with Jason is the founder of Hashtag Positivity, the great organization we are talking about. And uh, we're just going to go through a couple questions so you can learn a little bit more about the man behind Dan Mace's t-shirt. Ready, Jason? If that's what I'm known for, then yeah. that's what I will be known so, for. So the biggest question is, where can people find you? Where can people donate to you? Where can they find you? You have tons of merchandise that helps support, well, it helps support you, but it helps support the charities and the causes that your organization is a part of. Yeah. So. Where can anybody pick this stuff up? The best place to get uh, the merchandise and to kind of see what we're all about um, is online. So we have a website, the word hashtag positivity.org. You can go on there. Ding. You can find the shirts. Uh, you can find the hats. Pretty much anything that we sell is available on there. So how did hashtag positivity start? Um, so the long and short of it is it kind of started as a joke. You know, but some people might not. I work as a firefighter in the town of Wilbraham. And one day we were there, a couple of the guys were just busting each other's chops. And at the end of it, they would say, hashtag positivity, kind of pretending that that would erase everything that they had just said. So I've always been into drawing and artistic things, creating stuff. And as soon as they said, hashtag positivity, I just got this idea for what ended up being the logo. So I sketched it out on a piece of paper, yep. just with a couple of Sharpies. And um, I just thought it looked cool, you know? So it's a kind of a segue into my next question. Um, what is positivity? mean to you as the founder of Hashtag Positivity? So just being able to overcome anything that comes at you in life. I mean, we all we all take our lumps. Um, it's not easy to go through every day. And I, I'm not claiming to be the most positive person. I definitely, you know, the people that I spend the most time with can tell you I'm, you know, I'm negative just as much as everyone else. But Everybody's having this, sides. yeah, having this as, as kind of a reminder. And, um, you know, I drive around now and I see the stickers on cars and, People send me pictures all the time of vehicles that they're behind with yeah. with a sticker on it, and I'm. It's kind of flabbergasting. You know, it's I mean, kind of taken our area by storm. You drive around, and nine times out of ten, you're going to see a car with a sticker from hashtag yeah, positivity. Yeah, and it's such a cool feeling to see something you know as big or little of a thing as it is to see something that you created and you know came up with and kind of fostered. It's it's a pretty neat feeling. So, um, what are some ways that you try to spend positivity? Lately, I've been spending a lot of time. 
uh, in the schools. Yep. So my friend Jonas and I will go into a school, put on a presentation about leading a positive lifestyle, empathy, anti-bullying, all of those important messages that right. kids need to learn at a young age, and then they grow up with them. Also, uh, working a lot with the Willie Ross School for the Deaf has been a, a really cool project. We spend a lot of time there. The children uh, help teach us sign language, yep. so we're, we're learning some sign language, and then That's we, cool. we uh, do projects with them and just kind of hang out and have a fun time and volunteer our time over there. We actually came up with a whole bunch of different logos. Um, a bunch of these stickers have them, but we have designs for uh, law enforcement officers, autism awareness, breast cancer awareness, um, LGBTQ, uh, all different causes that um, are kind of near and dear to my heart for one reason or another. And then every shirt that we make, we have you know we make a shirt or a hat or a sticker. A portion of every sale goes back to that cause. Tell me about this one right here. I like this one. Yeah. So that's uh, who's this? That's Berry Positive. And what we're doing is delivering these stuffed animals, not just a sticker, but an actual stuffed animal with a little shirt, heart, positivity, and we're bringing them to the Bay, uh, Bay State Children's Hospital. So Right we, to the kids in the hospital. Yep, right to the kids nice. who are recovering or undergoing treatment there. So that's just another little way to, you know, spread some, bo uh, some positivity in the world. Awesome. That's really cool. As with the Dan Mace wearing your shirt, who are some of your influences throughout, you know, YouTube or the community? You know, it doesn't have to be strictly YouTube, but... Sure. So, um, obviously, you know, the big ones, you got Casey Neistat. Um, he was kind of the first person who I started watching um, you hear that, Casey? YouTube. You, you helped yeah. inspire this. I, I love watching your videos. Shout out to your everyday dad. Um, you know, Dan Mace, of course, is, is now one that I watch. Dan is so creative. Um, the new video, again, I... I would I would like the video even if he wasn't wearing right. a positivity shirt in it. Just a really super creative person. That's pretty cool. That gives you pretty much the gist of the man behind the positivity, Jason. Big shout out to Dan Mace for rocking the hashtag positivity t-shirt. You can find Jason, hashtag positivity.org. Links will be down in the description below. Definitely check them out. Definitely support them. Rock some of this gear. Helps support everybody involved. And, um, you know, with that being said, until next time, your everyday dad out with hashtag positivity.